in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen lord jesus we thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us we thank you for these lovely people who have gathered here lord it is not by chance but by choice we are here to know you to seek you to have a relationship with you lord lord in our lives we experience so many difficulties but your word says count it all joy when you experience trials and tribulations for the testing of your faith produces patience and this patience leads us in a path to become a mature christian lord to walk the way you want us to walk to walk the route to be a true disciple from our hearts as i speak holy spirit take complete authority of this entire zoom session take complete authority of my mind and my vocal cords so that let every word that i speak be of yours and nothing of mine lord amen praise god praise god the okay. father and son go to speak to me so um you know before we begin today's session would anyone like to share any testimonies anything sia um i don't have anything actually um yeah i have something uh, so my oh. dad um my dad was going through some difficulty at work and uh he got into a disagreement with his uh boss his colleagues uh, there was a meeting that happened yesterday and there was some disagreement and um in that meeting after that meeting finished everyone was uh in a very bad like they were not on talking terms when they left the meeting so um my dad was pretty upset and everyone was upset because the things that were said at that meeting were things to improve on as as individuals in their job and um so we were all very upset and then dad called my mom and said you know this is what happened I was very upset no one's treating me uh, properly in the workplace everyone's upset at me uh, etc cetera, etc cetera. and so it got worse and worse during the day like uh, many people around the office heard about the meeting that went and then it just got worse and then so me and mom um started to pray in tongues and uh, we started to um you know speak faith and speak what we wanted that situation to be we spoke like solutions and within a couple of hours we got a uh, a phone call from dad saying everything is cleared up now there was this guy who uh, you know managed to come down and you know explain and it was really the holy spirit through my dad who had so much patience and operated through love and said it's fine and he really he is the one who came up with the solutions to that problem most of it so praise god um after that everyone was um you know at ease there was no tension in the area and so yeah praise god that praise is what hallelujah praise god praise god, yeah. praise god. Praise god. that's a beautiful uh, testimony sia yeah. amazing amazing uh, testimony sia yeah, actually uh, a similar thing happened to me today uh, me and my general manager we got into loggerheads about uh, one month back and uh, it was like you know i mean uh, though we are in the word you know it's like uh, ego always comes in the way and uh, i almost like was there on the edge of it you know to Uh, i told him i said you are nobody to who tell me something like i it is insubordination i think if you understand uh, uh, hr uh, uh, part of it so but it was some of the other he, he swallowed his ego and i thought you know he would pick me on my performance uh, since last two months okay but uh, fortunately i do not know from where my figures are coming up and uh, today in the morning uh i had to you know check my figures it had uh, the the 
uh, finance department is saying, look what your department has, I mean, the branch has done uh, uh, very badly. So I thought today is my bad day, you know, and uh, I thought maybe today he will give it to me back for what I spoke to him two months back. You know, I actually disrespected him and, and I just left it to the Lord. I said, uh, Lord, uh, uh, you give me dignity, you give me your, uh, you know, uh, defense. And, you know, even if I have to uh, apologize for what I said two months back, I'm ready for that. You won't believe the accounts came back to me and said, uh, Rupert, actually, there's some uh, error in the uh, figures, you know. In fact, uh, uh, the uh, you all have done much better than uh, last two months. So I was so, uh, I, I mean, I just couldn't believe because I don't check my day-to-day -day, uh, performance, you know, and uh, something told me in my mind, you know, you should be humble, you know, like, uh, so today the meeting uh, started and, you know, uh, as usual, you know, he pulled my leg. He said, uh, Rupert, your performance has uh, gone very bad. Now I knew what actually transpired. So I said, uh, yes, I know I can, you know, I mean, but uh, he's, then he said, no, 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 I'm kidding. You know, I mean, uh, you guys have done uh, pretty well and all. And uh, I mean, that's it. Uh, I, I just couldn't believe because uh, I think end of the day, it is, uh, it's, it's all a, it's all a miracle, you know, I mean, the very fact I'm speaking to you all, it's a miracle. And every breath I take is a miracle. And uh, today I don't have to worry about anything because uh, I only know that if I, I mean, it's not that only good things are going to happen to me. So I am ready, even if something, you know, uh, challenging or, you know, something which is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I'm, I'm ready to face it with, with God's uh, grace. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So my dad, before he did, when he was um, in that meeting, he didn't operate in love. And I think that's what um, made, you know, the people in that room a bit upset with him. So then me and my mom prayed about, thank you, like, thank you, Holy Spirit, that, uh, you know, dad is operating through love and peace and all of that. And then so when he called me, um, I really felt that he was like um, calm, calmer and he, you know, the Holy Spirit helped him, you know, uh, you know, operate in love towards his um, colleagues. So, yeah, at that position, it really, um, I don't know, triggers you to, you know, operate in selfish ways, but yeah, praise God, it didn't happen. So, yeah. Praise God. Praise God. So today, let's discuss on, you know, on which topic? Shall we go back to sower and the seed all over again? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So I'll share my screen, just a minute. We'll start with sower and the seed. Sian is like, we have read this so many times, right? But I'm pretty sure the Holy Spirit will have something new to teach us today. What do you say? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm not, um, no, I love sower and the seed. It's nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay, just I'll just share the scriptures one minute. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Is it vertical or horizontal? It's, it's vertical. vertical. Okay. Yeah. Let's read this parable once. Okay, who would like to read? Okay. Okay, Sister Teresa, would you like to read? Hello? Praise God. Okay. Sian, you read. Okay. I could scroll down a bit. Oh, yes, yeah, okay, no. oh, no, no, no. Scroll back up. Okay. A bit more up? Yeah, that's enough. Again, 
Jesus began to teach beside the Sea of Galilee, and a very large crowd gathered around him. He got into a boat, anchoring it a short distance out on the sea, and sat down. And the whole crowd was by the sea on the shore. And he taught them many things in parables. And in his teaching, he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow seed. And as he was sowing, some seed fell by the road, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on the rocks, where there was not much soil. And immediately a plant sprang up because the soil had no depth. And when the sun came up, the plant was scorched. And because it had no root, it dried up and withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns came up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. And other seed fell into good soil, and as the plants grew and as the plants grew and increased, they yielded a crop and produced 30, 60, and 100 times as much as had been sown. And he said, he who has ears to hear, let them hear and heed my words. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sian, for reading it. Okay. So in this parable, this is a parable, right? The sower and the seed. Praise God. So, for the benefit of everyone, I would like to ask this question. What is a parable? A story. It hmm? is, yeah. A parable is a story, okay. Uh, it's an example that you know, makes you understand, like, okay. in a way. Okay, praise God. I'll tell the definition. Y'all can make a note of this. A parable is a mystery. A parable is a mystery wherein lies deep secrets of God. Wherein lies deep secrets of God which cannot be understood unless it is revealed by the master. A parable is a mystery wherein lies the deep secrets of God, which cannot be understood unless it is explained by the master. Has it ever happened to any of y'all? You know, uh, y'all have um, heard, you know, you would have read the Bible so many times, the same word, but each time you read it, it you know, you feel so different. Has it happened to you, Sian? That same verse. Um, yeah, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. Or, yeah. maybe, or maybe sometimes, you know, like when you were not in the Word, you would read the Bible and it would not make much sense to you. Like it would, you know, everything would go over your head. And yeah. the same thing used to happen to me, you know, when I used to read the Bible before, or at least I used to make an attempt to read it. I would not understand anything, okay? But when I got touched by the Lord, just one scripture per day spoke so deep to me. Like, you know, it was, it's like I could connect to it very practically. And then I asked the Lord, I was like, Lord, why is it that now I'm having that desire, you know, that hunger to know you, you to seek you? Before I never had that thirst, before I never had it. Why is it that now I'm getting it? Because earlier, my spiritual senses were not open. Earlier, I was, you know, trying to understand the Bible with my head knowledge, with my mind. And the Bible, which is, a, which is spiritual, which is filled with spiritual truths, cannot be understood by your physical senses. That is what the scriptures say, right? A natural man cannot understand the things of the spirit, for they are foolishness to them. So when you start sharing your testimony, there might be one set of people who might be amazed. 
but there would also be some set of people who would not accept it not because you know they don't understand or anything it is because they cannot understand spiritual truths you get what i'm saying when you all are ministering to you know reaching out to people and sharing your experiences you would experience that and you know sometimes because of that discouragement you get into okay you feel like giving up but no it is because they do not understand what it means to you know experience the love of god and we by showing patience and love can bring them closer praise god so jesus is saying you know he is saying that you know if you don't understand this parable you won't understand any other parable that is why sower and the seed is the most basic parable you know in the entire uh, what to say all the gospels if you go through and there's another question why did jesus teach in parables does anyone know uh, simple I think with uh, this answer of mine uh, actually your definition of the parable priya is fantastic it's a proper definition but uh, i would like to give a simpler definition of a parable huh? a parable for me is a true story which happens in our day to day life okay so it's a true story B- basically we hear so many stories right but a true story is uh, basically something which will which happens and as you rightly said you know every time you read it you understand it it's a, it has a deeper meaning okay so now uh, what is the second question uh, uh, priya why did jesus use parables Correct. to teach why, why why did he teach in parables because uh, we are so uh, you know we i mean i'm talking about myself because uh, you don't tend to understand uh, so many things in the in the proper way you know to he knows we as i mean i am so dumb headed so thick skin so you know you had to teach it in parable so that you know we understand understand the actual meaning of it i mean this is my my reason of uh, he was uh, teaching in parables praise god uncle what you shared was really beautiful because um, in simple words what you said is that word which becomes alive in your life is a parable right you know the understanding of it and Absolutely. that understanding can only be revealed to us by the holy spirit today Amen. in those days it was jesus but now it's the holy spirit the holy spirit is the one who convicts us you know in every situation that's when we get the revelation knowledge praise god thank you jesus okay okay so the second question that why jesus used parables to teach is because now which crowd was jesus teaching were they very educated people who were they teaching simple crowd simple crowd fishermen farmer and these were people who understood practical things things related to day to day life and that is why jesus knew that spiritual truths cannot be understood you know by physical senses that is why he used these examples day to day examples to make the you know make these people understand what is the meaning of it but not every one of them took it not every one of them took it let's see how many of them took it i'll just share my screen praise god okay you all can see my screen right yeah yeah okay, okay. nicole you can start reading uh priya can you like scroll down yeah because i'm using my phone so i can't see. yeah okay uh as soon as he was alone those who were around him together with the 12 disciples began asking him about the interpretation of the parables he said to them 
the mystery of the kingdom of God has been given to you who have teachable hearts. But those who are outside, the unbelievers, the spiritually blind, get everything in parables so that they will continually look but not see and they will continually hear but not understand. Otherwise, they might turn from their rejection of the truth and be forgiven. Praise God. So when Jesus was alone, those who were around him together with the 12 disciples, praise God. See, now when, Sian, when you read the starting part of the parable, the sower and the seed, there was a huge crowd. Am I right? Hello? Uh, yes. There was a huge crowd. But now when Jesus is alone, how many of them are there? Few people Few, and the yeah. 12 disciples. The 12 disciples. Why was there a crowd before? A large crowd. We'll go up to that. Because um, he was performing a miracle? Yes. Many people had heard that, you know, Jesus is performing so many uh, miracles, so many healings, so many deliverance. And they wanted a fix to their problem. They wanted their problems, their prayers to be answered. That is why a huge crowd, see it's written here, a very large crowd gathered around. Okay? Praise God. But when it comes to getting the understanding of the word, how many people were there? Few. Few. Can you guys relate to this situation? Like, you know, Many a times we are also like this only, right? Like yeah. we want something, we want a healing, we want, uh, you know, some financial breakthrough, we want something, we'll open our mouth, confess that scripture 100 times, 200 times. But how many of us wholeheartedly seek the Lord? Like I'm asking an honest question. It's not that we don't have the desire to seek the Lord, but on a daily basis, are we giving our 100% to him? Is the question, right? Including me. True. Praise God. Okay. So, together with the 12 disciples, those came to ask the meaning, the interpretation of the parable. So, Jesus is saying, the mystery of the kingdom of God has been given to you who have teachable hearts. But to those who are outside, the unbelievers and the spiritually blind, get everything in parables so that they will continually look but not see. They will hear but not understand. Otherwise, they might turn from their rejection of the truth and be forgiven. So, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Most of us experience that, right? Like in the earlier mm -hmm. days, we would not have the understanding of the word. And because we never had the understanding of the word, we would continually look, but not see. Mm. We would hear, but not understand. Okay, Sorry. praise God. Has it ever happened to you, you know, any scriptures? You would have read so many scriptures, but now the way it is making sense to you, the understanding that you're getting, you were not able to get it in the past. Yeah, can I share something here? Yes, please, please. You know, darling, see, actually, this is so appropriate what you shared just now. And uh, this is Jesus telling the parable, okay? Now, uh, if you look at the um, Old Testament, uh, where I, this is about uh, uh, Lazarus, uh, uh, Lazarus, you know, dying and, you know, going and, uh, you know, he is he's going to heaven. That's what it says in the Bible. And... Uh, and the rich man, the rich man, and uh, and and the rich man goes to hell, and uh, there's a big wall separating these two, and uh, uh, the rich man uh, tells uh, uh, God 
that uh, please let me at least go back to my brothers and tell them not to you know commit because uh, you know uh, he, he is tormenting in in the fire so what what god says uh, if even if you go back and tell them they will not listen uh, because that time it was uh, directly you know i mean uh, there was no i mean jesus has not yet come to uh, it, it is the old testament so god tells uh, the rich man you uh, uh, they are so ardent by heart so you no know, deaf by ear or whatever you call it that's why i used the word you know uh, hard by uh, dumb or whatever you call you know uh, myself also so many years i have been so dumb so thick skinned and all that so he said if they couldn't uh, listen to moses those days moses was the prophet okay so if they couldn't listen to moses then even if you go back they will not listen to you you got my point what i'm saying And yes praise uncle god. praise god, god. actually praise god and that is exactly exactly what you are saying about uh, those who have ears you know let them hear those who you know it, it's 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 so appropriate uh, absolutely connected uh, with uh, you know what we are learning yeah sorry you were saying something yeah go ahead yeah no uncle I'm i done. Done. thank you for yeah. sharing this because uh the only correction i would make is this is not of the old testament but uh, this was jesus telling this uh, you know giving the example of lazarus and the rich man what and what you said was so correct like you oh, know really oh, okay yes, jesus uh, it comes in the new testament itself hallelujah yes, praise god i thought it was <laughs> in the old Sister. testament okay I, nice nice to know uh, uh, i know the correct uh, version thank you thank you priya praise god so yeah uncle what you shared was absolutely right where jesus was telling that these prophets before jesus came and they were proclaiming the word isaiah and so many others but the thing was the people of israel were so hardened their hearts were hardened that is why they were not able to understand what you know the word of god says even today in our lives it's not that we don't have faith it's not that we don't believe in god but we have so much of unbelief because our hearts are hardened our heart our hearts are sensitive to what's happening around me more than what it is sensitive to the word of god and that is the time we struggle when you know that is why the teaching on spirit soul and body is so important so applicable to us because if we learn to control the you know our emotions to not let the you know natural senses come and affect us what's happening around me come and affect me but keep my promise on the word of god learn to depend on god for each and everything of my life that is the time i'll be successful that is the time you know i'll be more sensitive to god's voice the truth is god is speaking to each one of us every minute but we are not able to hear him because we are so busy we are so busy with the things of this world the cares the worries and that is why the sower and the seed is such a beautiful parable you know it's like if you understand the sower and the seed every other parable will start becoming more meaningful to you please go so any teaching you know i would tell everyone that you know just listen to the sower and the seed keep listening to it again and again every time i come to the sower and the seed it's a different experience it's a def- different revelation i'm teaching this parable i don't know i've thought it so many times but today when i'm teaching it and when uncle rupert is sharing it this experience is altogether new altogether different Yes, Sian. Do you agree with what I say? Yes, Priya, hundred percent. Yeah, with my uh, favorite teaching, I I listen to it, and then every time, and then every time, it just um, new revelations keep coming. So yeah, that's really nice. Uh, I was so touched with one more thing I want to share. Uh, last week, um, last week, my wife she pointed out a testimony. which i did not even know and she not that she doesn't appreciate me but very seldomly because uh, i don't know maybe i don't deserve it uh, so while teaching the ch- children uh, catechism she just mentioned about said you know the rupert sir 
did one hack of uh, mercy you know and i was just wondering what is she coming up with and it was in manglo and it was in um, uh, that uh, which uh, church was that i'm not very good in names uh, lady hills i think priya will be knowing because she's from manglo in lady hill there is a church over there and i had gone for a wedding where uh, uh, it's you know my best friends uh, my classmates uh, uh daughter was getting married okay anyway that is not important so in the wedding uh, we were as usual any other wedding we were sitting in the church and there was a guy who was actually uh, you know totally what he call it you know like uh, 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 clothes were torn and you know all uh, it, it was really bad uh, thing and you know the ushers were uh actually smelling i i don't i don't need to because i'm not pointing at any particular person okay so uh, and uh, the ushers were actually throwing him out of the church you know because he was little bit i think lost in his head also so and victoria my uh, self and i think my younger daughter was there i just uh, as usual not to it's it's my it's myself this is rupert actually and Uh, i put my hand around this guy i you know i felt so bad i i, I not to show anybody that you know i am uh, something different and i took him aside and you know i just i i was just feeling how this guy must be feeling na i mean he just coming and you know he, it's a house of god he's not even coming to ask for money or to ask for food or anything it's a house of god just because there's a wedding means he is discriminated or whatever you know and i took him on the side and i don't even know what i did i as usual this has been my normal self you know uh, i just emptied out whatever i had in my uh, wallet and i you know i i, I while i was giving him that you know i just felt something like you know i would have a good meal in the wedding you know as usual they'll have a good uh, meal and you know and otherwise also you know if i see somebody who's on the road or you know if i i would i would do that it's right for my childhood i've been doing this and i went back to my uh, seat and she related this whole story uh, to the children you know i was i had tears in my eyes because i myself never knew that uh, because this was a natural thing of mine you know uh, uh, i i'm just sharing it uh, uh, with this context of you know lazarus basically yeah so uh, probably that's why god has forgiven me all my sins na right? and uh i have been very uh, uh naughty i won't use the word sinful because uh i mean uh, as human uh, as we uh, we are you know as you said uh, there is a age for everything and you know we are all uh, uh, uh sons and daughters of adam and eve uh so uh, i uh, i had tears in my eyes my my wife uh, uh, you know like told the children you know and i ask, she asks me she, she always uh, keeps telling me you know i i i make a work and i do charity on her uh, on her hard work you know so that is what uh, she always says uh, but anyway that was uh, last uh, friday she congratulated me she said you know sir always has been this way and he has been you know uh, so she asked me rupert what did you do exactly i said nothing nothing i know i know you now you must have so i said and uh, she gave us me i'm proud of you you know and uh, she said that so uh, now connecting it with the uh, with the parable uh, i just want to say this because uh, i think this is exactly uh, is it's it's an act of mercy and uh, if you show forgiveness you will you will be forgiven and uh, it's 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 like this you know what you do unto others and i am very easily forgiven you know even i do the grave gravest sin on this planet uh, like even today my boss he put his arm arm around me and he hugged me i was i mean amazed i said i could insult him a senior person and you know i am so easily forgiven you know so praise god hallelujah it's, it's such an amazing uh, act uh, to share because uh, uh, good to be humble uh and you know because mercy will will flow will flow uh, very easily you know it, it it's a uh, uh, praise god uh, thank you thank you priya praise god thank you jesus yeah so today we were learning about the parables right the secret which can be revealed only by the holy spirit when that scripture becomes meaningful in your life when you can apply that scripture and get the real understanding the deeper meaning of it that is where 
you know you are getting the understanding praise god thank you jesus and jesus knew this that is why everything every parable you know has a deeper meaning in it and if you want to start understanding parables you should start with the sower and the seed praise god thank you jesus okay does anyone have questions on what we learned today or does anyone want to share something sister treza actually i wanted to ask like sometimes is it like a uh, uh... maybe like uh, it depends on the person teaching also like maybe we will not be able to comprehend like uh, sister i didn't understand what you were trying to ask me can see, you in, see before like i before also i was active in the prayer group but you know like they used to teach but i really i i was like as you said the spiritual thing was not opened yes maybe and especially this particular verse only you know they they will the eyes will they'll struggle but they'll not be able to see when their minds like you know they'll be closed the same thing and i was trying to figure out what exactly it means like you know those days when i didn't know what it is what it is referring to also and uh, though they explained still still not able to understand so is it like uh, because it was lacking from my side or is it like sometimes uh it depends on the one who is teaching also like like now when you teach it's very like you know it's so nicely broken and uh, simple to understand like is it possible like that also like i don't know if you got what i want to ask sister i'll tell you this thank you holy spirit nobody can understand the unless truth. the holy spirit, spirit yeah. unless the holy spirit uh, you know reveals it to us it's not yes. about the person teaching rather i would say it's about like whether we are in the state of receiving it or not perhaps that point of time we were not you know our spiritual senses were not awakened to hearing the truth because now when i you know sister when i listen to mass when i listen to the gospel each mm. and every word is so meaningful to me but mm. the reality was i was attending mass all these years the gospel right. the same gospel was being preached every day the same sermon was being preached but it was not entering me because my spiritual senses were not awakened i was not in a position to receive right yes and also can i, can I think you may share something here sister yeah uh, sister teesa very beautifully said actually me also same thing and what uh, priya just said you know it is uh, uh it is myself i'm talking my seven i actually wanted to uh, it's like the word arden not your hearts my heart was you know like uh, frozen you know i mean refusing i was it's not that uh, i mean i didn't want to that i was a bad person you know it, that's called self righteousness okay where uh, where one is not doing a bad thing but refuses to listen to the other side of the uh, story you know i mean this is the way i am talking about myself yeah not about your your case and then the, the, there was a time when i really realized i said uh, am i am i really doing the right thing you know i started questioning myself it, it is at that time which uh, priya just now mentioned self realization the holy spirit actually convicts you and uh, there is a timing for everything and uh, there is of course we should not uh, you know the sooner we learn it the better it is for our, for uh, for myself and uh, uh, what stops you from learning it that is the big question that is the million dollar question the the thing that stops you from learning it is nothing but the uh, stranger the voice of the stranger uh, because every time you you want to do something good if you if you go backwards you know just uh, do a reflection on whatever why you are not able to see through and there would be so many uh, so many things happening you know and that is exactly but today you are broken through the highs and yes priya has been instrumental let's let's put let's be yes. let's be very amen praise the lord uh, praise the lord priya has been very instrumental and uh, the holy spirit is uh, very interactive through our teachings 
and you know praise god yeah so we uh, that's how uh, priya starts uh, uh, sessions also you know it is nothing of mine it is all of the holy spirit which is you know all glory to god praise god praise god amen praise god thank you jesus it is definitely because i can say this with so much conviction because i have experienced it personally myself that mm-hmm. you know the holy spirit giving me the understanding in my own life and from what i have been meditating on praise god um no. yeah why i asked was because you know that particular point at that particular point of time i was really desperate actually and i wanted to understand this deeper you know but uh, the even though i was trying like you know from my side i could not uh, i still could not comprehend that time you know but as you said the first thing even i came across was the sower and seed you know this is the first teaching i think even i listened to and i was like uh, it was amazing because first time i'm seeing okay like this is how it is this is how the kingdom thing works like and it made so much sense and uh, it was so beautiful actually because i still remember like this was long back but i still remember how this actually gave the more thirst you know like to go deeper and deeper and able to understand then you know this god and sister one point i'd like to mention is though i am teaching you know it's not me who's teaching but the holy spirit who's using my vocal cords to you know yes. teach the words yes. and the yes. way the holy spirit you know speaks to everyone is very different now the yes. same teaching could be you know taken in so many different ways by all the diff- participants who are listening here each mm. person is getting a different revelation in you know True. pertaining True. to their situation if you get True. what i'm trying to say yes praise yes. god Great. okay uh, nicole you have any questions on what we learned today uh you know uh, priya you mentioned uh, something when we read the when we read the word and then you you understand different something like that you said revelation revelations yeah. oh okay hello I, yeah yeah i understood um because that time when you said that sentence i just kind of got confused oh, okay no it is the revelation or the deeper message. secret the hidden secret the messages for yeah each person will have a different message you know as per their situation that's that's what uh, priya mentioned uh, priya right praise god okay sister maria you would like to share something no sister okay no problem anybody else anything Lester sir would you like to share something anything okay no problem praise god okay if there's nothing more to uh, share then we can end today's session who would like to do the closing prayer today yes i'll do yes sister go ahead thank you abba daddy thank you lord jesus thank you holy spirit Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us so beautifully. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. There was time when we wanted, we wanted to understand, but we couldn't. And now today, we we are so soaked in this world, and we don't want to like leave. You know, we want to still continue. We want to get deeper, deeper revelations, Lord. And this is truly the bread of life. this is our bread this word we hunger for this word lord thank you lord for this word this word which is alive and active and help us to apply it lord help us to be the doer of the word thank you lord thank you lord for all your love praise to jesus in jesus name amen thank you amen praise god Thank you sister for this lovely prayer. Thank you all 
for joining thank me. You. Thank you. See you all tomorrow. Bye.